and welcome to the Fredagant, the Blendrick Skeleton video series. In this video, I'm going to try to cover all the important aspects of the rig and the character so that you can make the best out of it. So let's begin with the basic and general Blendrick 6 controls. Let's begin! So this is Fredagant, and this is the Blendrig panel, which is part of the Blendrig add-on that's included in the Fredagant download files. In the upper part we have the basic layer section, then we have the custom layer section, which works with selection sets. This is the built-in control speaker, and we also have another picker for the facial controls. So let's begin with the body. Here you can see the IK control for the arms, and it's important to note that in the IK mode you can use the FK controllers simultaneously. This is a nice feature in case you want to animate in IK, but also correct some animation arcs with the FK controllers. Then we can seamlessly move into FK mode, and note that there's a main controller that you can rotate, but you can also scale in order to rotate the forearm. So you could say that it's a forearm curl controller. Now let's move to the space options, where you will find several spaces that you can constrain the arms to. Next we have the stretchy IK, which is simply the stretchy IK. And finally we have some options for the elbow. You can control the elbow with the elbow pole, or you can also turn that off and control the elbow with the first bone in the IK chain. The elbow also has some space options, and basically you can choose between the elbow pole to be free, or you can set it to follow the torso. The last option for the arm itself is the elbow pin, which is an option that lets you make the elbow stay stationary, while moving the torso around, and in the extras layer you can find a special controller for the elbow in this animation scenario. Now let's move on to the hand, which has two options. You can set it to free, so that the hand doesn't follow the direction of the arm, or you can set it to follow arm. Then there's an interesting controller that you can find on several places in the rig, which is the pivot controller. With the hand pivot controller, you can simulate scenarios where, for instance, the hand is lying over a table, and you need different pivot points to animate that motion. So with this controller you will be able to do that. You can move the controller to the place where you want the pivot to be, and then you rotate the thing. Finally, there is a reset pivot button that you can press and the pose will be kept while the pivot controller gets reset. That way you can again move the pivot point to another place if you want. We have a wrist controller, we have the finger spread controller, a controller for closing and opening the hand, and note that with the main controller of the fingers you can curl the fingers, you also have individual joints controllers, and you have the option to simultaneously move an IK controller for the finger. Finally, you have a general space option for the fingers, which will let you set the fingers to free or to follow the hand, and in the extras options down below, you can also set each finger individually for this option. Moving to the legs now, you have pretty much the same options that you had for the arms. You have the space options, you have simultaneous FK while you are in IK, you have space options for the knee pole, you can enable or disable the knee pole, and moving on to the foot itself, you have a couple of different controllers for the foot roll, for instance. You can rotate or move the controller that's on the ankle, or you can move the controller that's in front of the foot. That will also allow you to roll the foot or to flip it to the sides. And as usual, you have controllers for the toes, which also have a separate IK or FK mode. The knees also have a knee pin option, similar to the elbow pin option. Therefore, in the extras layer you can find some special knee controllers for this mode. And here I have to make a special note, which is that if you pin the knees without the stretchy IK, you will get a kind of full body IK when you move the knee controller. And this mode is like great for posing, I mean, it's a, it's a fancy mode, uh, but the thing is that I wouldn't recommend to use it in animation if you want to go in and out of the knee pin mode within the same shot, because the snapping between the modes is not ideal. Um, but then if you do enable the stretchy IK, you won't be having the full body IK thing, but you will be able to snap in and out of the knee pin mode. 
All right, well, now let's move on to the neck. For the neck, we have a couple of space options. You can set the neck to free or to follow the torso. And at the same time, you also have this option for the head itself. So you can combine those two options. Then moving on to the look controller, you have several space options. So you can make it follow the head, follow the torso, follow the whole body of the character, or just make it free and stationary. Now for the neck itself, you can grab the head controller and have a kind of stretchy neck. You have the individual neck joints and you also have a master neck controller that will organically bend the whole neck. And finally, to end this video, we got to the torso, which is a part that I'm pretty proud of. In FK mode, we have a upwards FK hierarchy and simultaneously we have a downwards FK hierarchy. This will let you tweak complex motions either from the torso or from the pelvis. At the same time, we have torso and pelvis master controllers that will let you bend the whole torso in an organic way. Also, with these two controllers, you can achieve a two way stretching motion. Now, let's move to IK, which to me is the coolest mode. With this mode, you can grab the IK torso controller, so you can pull it and the torso will bend towards it, or you can grab the pelvis and if you pull it, the whole torso will bend towards where you're moving the pelvis to. If you are animating and you've gone a little bit too far with moving all these controllers at once, you can press the align spine button and this will try to keep the pose while tidying up the controllers and converting the pose into a simple upwards FK transform. Finally, I get to mention the coolest controller to me, which is the torso curve controller. No matter in which pose the torso is, this controller will allow you to tweak the curvature of the spine, giving you unprecedented control over the pose. Alright, I hope you've liked this video, and remember that by getting Fredegund, you are supporting the development of the Blendrig add-on. In case you want to read your characters with Blendrig, don't forget to check the GitHub link below, and you can also join our Discord channel. Don't forget to check the Blendrig song! So rock on and happy blending! <laughs>